Hi, I'm Nancy Reynolds. I have made this slim line card using the Tea Boutique, which is our bundle focus for this month. I'm so glad you're able to join us. Ooh, I see a shadow. Let's see if I can get rid of the shadow. That did help a little bit. Let's do a little bit more. There, that looks better. This is a slimline card, and there are envelope envelopes that you can buy. Very pretty. So our set, our size is set by the envelope. So I'm going to give you the uh, metric as well as the imperial measure, but know that you could do this all in inches if, if that's something you're comfortable working with, because we need it to fit in the specific envelope. So now that I've said that, let me show you what I did. You're going to need a full sheet of cardstock, metric or imperial. And I have chosen Tahitian Tide because it's such a pretty color. I really like it. As a matter of fact, it's what I'm drinking my water out of, is the Tahitian Tide tumbler. Now, here we are. So what you're going to do is take your cardstock. U.S. cardstock is eight and a half inches. And so that is what you're going to want to have um, as your base. So you're going to need to cut down an imperial size cardstock a little bit. Um, I believe that is 21.5 centimeters. So here we are. We're going to take it on the long side, put it in our hmm, that out of the way, trimmer, go to three and three quarter inches, and then we're going to score it. Now be sure that when you're using your trimmer that you have your score blade out and not your cutting blade. I have learned from experience that it's best to know what blade you have handy. I am not going to score this one because I have one already done for us. But once you've scored it at three and three quarter inches, you move it over to seven and a half inches. And this is where you use your cutting blade and you cut this off. That gives you a nice piece like this of scrap. And we'll be using a little bit of scrap today. So that's the cutting and the scoring. I'm going to move those out of the way and show you the rest of the card. What I have, I have an envelope for us to decorate. I have my card base already folded. The card front is three and three quarter inches by seven and a half, by eight and a half rather. So this is the seven and a half inch length that we scored at three and three quarter inches, folded it over. So that's 9.5 centimeters by 21.5 centimeters. There's our card base. Layer one is basic white cardstock. And you're going to cut two of these because you want one inside. Oh, that's the envelope. Sorry about that. You're going to want one on the outside and one on the inside. So here we are. It's three and a half by eight and a half. So you eight and a quarter. I can see that I made a little mistake there. Let's fix it while we're on camera. I went down a quarter inch in width and length for the card front. So it's nine centimeters by 21 centimeters. And again, cut two. Now this one, the designer series paper, because designer series paper is six by six, if you wanted to, you could adjust those measurements a little and just do three inches, but I did three and a quarter inches by six inches because that's all the length we could get, the size of the paper. I chose another designer series paper pattern from the same pack, and I used the, it just coordinated, it matched really well, and it's two inches by three and a half inches. So your total is eight inches. Remember that your basic white was eight and a quarter and your card base is eight and a half inches, your basic white is eight and a quarter inches, and your designer paper is eight inches. So it's all meant to layer on each other with a nice border. 
So let's get started. And this piece is just a little piece of designer series paper that I have left over when I cut this one down. So you could be thinner, it could be thicker, it couldn't be over three and a half inches wide. But it could be a little smaller, like I think this is three and a quarter. It could be deeper, you know. Um, I believe the piece I had on this, on our card sample, was wider. It was a quarter inch wider. And I just went ahead and used it. You've got lots and lots and lots and lots of room to write on the inside of this card. So let's start putting things together. And we'll get to the stamping in a bit. Pretty soon, actually. So I'm using my seal. No pressure. But do remember to tip it up to break that adhesive. And I'm putting my inside together. And you know what? Since I'm not going to be stamping on it, I am just going to oops, put some seal on it. And we'll put it right on the card. Now that one got a little messed up, so I'm either going to advance it with my finger, which makes me sticky and I don't really like to be sticky, or you can take your silicone mat and it will catch it. And that's really easy to clean up. So there we go. We're going to put this on the inside. And just, you know, center it. Because it's made to layer, if you center it on three sides, the fourth side is going to pretty much take care of itself. There's our inside. Now we're going to put our designer series paper on our other piece of basic white. I'm going to move this envelope out of the way. And I'm going to do the same. Actually, I kind of like using Tombow because then it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. So let's use Tombow. Just put a little on. Multi-purpose glue is great. It's actually my my go-to most of the time. I do find that it can show through the basic white if that's your top layer. Like on the inside, I didn't want anything to show. So that's why I use my seal for there. Well, looks like this could be trimmed just a tiny bit. It's a little bit long. Maybe I didn't take it up quite as high as I should have. That is an easy thing to do. Let me take just a little bit off. There we are. That looks better. Hmm. That is important. We don't want to lose that. That's our stamping. One of our stamping pieces. Here we are. And I see that I did not grab my ribbon because this is where we're going to put the ribbon across it because we don't like seams. Seams detract from the beauty of the front of our card. So we are going to take care of that Let's see. Yep, I've got a little room there on both sides. So I'm going to take a glue dot. Oh, I know what we're going to do. We're not going to try and just hide it. That would be too much work. We're just going to lay it across here and anchor it on the back. So. Seal up the side on each side. Well, I'm having a little trouble with my seal tonight. I'm going to pull my silicone mat over because nothing sticks to it. 
No adhesives, even hot glue doesn't stick to it. Give myself a little bit of a room and take it and wrap it around on the back and catch it in that, that seal. The same with this one, and I'm not going to cut it off until afterwards because I don't want a big tail hanging out. Grabbing my ribbon scissors, doing a quick little trim, and that is all the ribbon we are going to use. This is ready to go down. Let's go ahead and use our Tombow. See how quickly this is going together, but it's so much fun. It's a fun card to give. Partly because it's a little bit different being a slimline card. Just kind of center that on. Or close to centering it on. Now, I have to tell you that I really, really, really like Wink of Stella. And this card doesn't have a lot of sparkle. So I decided to sparkle up the lemon and all of the little flowers on the teapots. And the centers of the little ones that are on the outside of it. There's another lemon. Some of these will get um, an embellishment for the center, but I'm not sure which ones yet, so. so we will sparkle our flowers. I found it easier to do it in a kind of an organized manner, working from the seam up. Otherwise, I get confused as to what I've done. Although, extra sparkle never hurts. That's my motto. I love sparkle. Can we ever have too much? The answer to that question would be no. Well, in most cases. And it just paints on, sparkle paints on so nicely. And let's see, we've got a few down here. We can do little centers on them. And the little yellow ones and the little pink ones. Which I believe that color is blush and bride. Not just pink. Okay. As long as the Wink of Stella is out, I will tell you that when I did this card, I put it together and then decided that the decorative outline on the cup needed to be sparkly. Yeah, let's work on the silicone mat. It'll be a little less messy. And then realized that it would have been so much easier if I had done that before I put it on the card. So today we are going to sparkle first and then adhere it to the cup. Because then you don't have to be quite as careful. There we are. Wink of Stella all over the cup decoration. Kind of sparkly. I'll put it aside for a moment. Now, you'll see what we still have to do. I have already cut the cup. Oh, I didn't show you the dies. This is the cup of tea set. It comes with the dies, and these are the dies I've used. The tea tag, the cup, and the decorative piece. So here is our cup. Our overlay is just about ready. And all I'm going to do is very carefully put a few little daubs of Tombow. You could use our adhesive sheet on this, which probably would make it easier to adhere to the cup. But Tombow gives wiggle room. And I find that I, I, I value wiggle room. A little bit over here because I want this to lay down. A little more on the bottom and this corner. 
and then I'm just going to put them together and wiggle it into place. You do need to give it a little bit of pressure and a little bit of time to totally set. See, there was wiggle room. There's our cup. We have the most wonderful little twine. It's the in color twine. And I did have a piece cut but when I was moving things around, it dropped off. So let's cut ourselves another piece for our tea bag. Doesn't need to be very long. Matter of fact, that's probably too long. But we've got all the end colors here, which is really pretty. Let's see. The twine gets a glue dot. And then it is going right on the back of the cup. There we are. Because we'll glue our little tag to it very soon. I'm going to set this aside. We're going to work on our tag. This is where oh, I got a glue dot on my fingernail. We're going to move the card out of the way, at least a little bit. Here's our tag. I have got some Tahitian Tide ink. And normally I would have stamped it and then cut it out. But I decided that since it is photopolymer and I can see through it, that I probably could line it up fairly close. I might be off camera. I don't, I'm sorry if I'm too far out, but I need to kind of look down over it. Okay. Let's hope that is close. Well, that wasn't, so let's use the other side. We may be redoing this. Let's see. Oh, that was sad. So perfect stamping is not in my repertoire today. Let's take this little piece of scrap of Tahitian Tide. And stamp the sentiment. No. Guess we will stamp. I made a little mess. That looks pretty good. Let's stamp it. Then let's put our sentiment inside of it. It's time for tea. We'll put this right in here. And then I will grab the little tea die and my mini, let's close this up before I get my, get something in it. I have, I have my plates. So we need a sandwich is one and a two and another two. This is a little large, so let's go ahead and just give it a trim. Put that on. This goes on. There. The mini is great lightweight 
easy and portable. I put mine on my silicone mat. I will need to be able to turn this because that helps anchor it in place so it doesn't slip around on the paper. So here is our sandwich. Let's work at getting that lined up. Looks good. And as always, I'm always looking around for the top plate. Where did I put it? There it is. Now I'm going to start that and then hold on to the top. Run that through. And here we have our tag. Properly stamped, cut out, and looking good. Thank you for your patience. Move this out of the way. I'm putting my... So now we can put this together. Let me grab another glue dot. Put that at the top. I think we will look and see about how long we want it. I think this would be about fine. And we'll put our glue dot on and then we will stamp and cut out our um, sentiment. There we are. Back to Tahitian High Tide and Tahitian Tide ink. I really do like this color. I hope you do too. This says, let's get together soon. I think I'll put that over here. Give it just a second to transfer the ink. And then, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have reached across. I should have used my other hand. But here we are. This is a cool punch. It's called the Rectangle Postage Stamp Punch. It is very cool. And I'm going to, now I remember that I did this differently. I did it sideways. Because I wanted room on the other side. So, here we are, sideways. The punch is so nice. I really like that punch. I just put this down flat, a little Tombow. Doesn't take a lot of glue. Put that here. I did use dimensionals for my cup. because I thought we could use just a little bit of depth and interest. Oh, those little dimensional backs, they get everywhere. Even though I try to always put them in my garbage can, I still find them other places. So here we are. And you know what I need? Just a little bit of support under the, the cup. So I'm going to take my scissors and on the side, you know never to throw these pieces away. I love the side pieces that are dimensionals. I think I'll put this on my... I think I'll take that off. Take the backing off. Put it on my take your pick tool so that I can work it in and under. There. 
Now my cup handle has a bit of support. Well, I would like to leave this free. I think it's going to get caught when it goes in and out of the envelope. So I am just going to take a glue dot. Put it on the corner. And let it rest against the teapot. Gives it just a little bit more stability. And we are almost done. We've got some bling on it, but I think we need more bling. I have these wonderful fine sparkle adhesive backed gems. They're in our mini catalog. The Boutique Boutique set is in the regular catalog. And I just took these Tahitian Tide. Oh, let's see, that was a little big. Nope, I guess that is a small one. And I just kind of filled in some centers. And then I did a large one at the bottom. And then I decided three really wasn't enough. And while we want to keep our um, numbers odd, has to do with the Fibonacci principle, I think five should do it. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And there is our card. Now all we need is, we've got a pretty card. We've got a pretty inside. We need to have a pretty envelope. So I just took my parakeet party, because that's the green that's in here. Took my envelope. And one of the others, the leaf stamp from the set. And I did one, and then I did a second generation leaf, which is very, very light. But I want a second generation leaf on the other side. So I'm going to stamp on my paper. I stamped a little bit more off than I think I wanted to, but and put the third one here. So we have a little spray of leaves in the corner. Now we're done. We have an envelope and a card ready to send to a friend so we can get together soon and have tea, or in my case, have coffee. I hope you enjoyed the card and thank you so much for joining us in our Bundle Focus program. Until I see you again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.